Uh, the Auto Regional Cancer Foundation Telethon. Another smash success. It's uh, amazing. It is amazing, Linda. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, we I've spent all the morning thanking so many people, but CTV, you guys. Oh, are thanks. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't yeah. do it without. the means to be able to tell the stories, yeah. uh, to be able to share with our viewers in our community exactly what it is that they're doing because so many people have been to these events, they go to these galas, they're signing up for the golf tournament uh, and then they, they actually see where their efforts are going and the research and what is actually happening. And it's nice for people at home to see all of the different ways yeah. that they can make a difference, whether it's participating in a soccer tournament or joining in in the upcoming Bust and Move. Yeah. There's so many different ways that you can make a difference. And, and Linda, I yeah. want to say that the emphasis here I think today was on on the regional part of Ottawa Regional Cancer Foundation. So many different neighborhoods and exactly. the personal stories coming out of them. So many beautiful stories. It's um, Today's a celebration. It, Ottawa should be proud of everything that's being done. There's so many people that are touched by cancer. The important thing to remember, though, is we can't stop. Oh, of course. We have to keep going. Yeah. So we want to come back here next year with greater things to celebrate and uh, having helped more people. Mm -hmm. I want to talk ab you. about some of the differences that have been made directly as a result of the fundraising efforts around the ORCF. Uh, Maple Soft Center stands out to me. You know, people are getting coached through a cancer journey now. They're leading healthy, active lives. It's truly making a difference, and we should be very proud of the Maple Soft Center for sure. We talk about it. You hear people talking about it. This isn't government funded. This isn't no. something that just got built uh, exactly. and that, you know, salaries get paid and volunteers come in. And this is something that you built, that our community built our and community continues built. to fundraise uh, and to be able to, to promote. These are funds every day for everything that you're seeing that's being donated uh, through fundraising efforts. You know what? That's a really important message message to remember because if a loved one has cancer and they need support this community steps up to the plate we need to keep giving because every day there are new people coming through the doors of the survivorship center we need to be able to help them through their journey and we've heard about clinical trials too how important this is well that means access to the latest and the greatest therapies right, right. and that's that's hope for the future there's also support for research, which we've accomplished. This year we celebrated $50 million. The Courage wow. campaign closed. That was it's, it's substantial. That's the most money that's ever been raised for cancer in eastern Ontario. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. um, so thank you, I Ottawa. Like that deserves <laughs> <a reason. laughs> yeah, yeah, as of uh, right now because uh, this is the opportunity. This never stops. Uh, so never the fundraising stops. continues. Please continue to head to the website mm -hmm. to call the number uh, below. And, uh, the, you know, we need that giving to continue year-round every day. And you can't stress enough that no amount is too little. We right. saw lemonade stands that raised over $50,000. Oh, there you go, guys. Go, guys. Yay. Number, number is still on your screen. You can dial that. You can donate uh, online as well, ottawacancer.ca slash telethon. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure you can donate anytime. If you Absolutely. Like. <laughs> ottawacancer.ca. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. We'll Thanks see you to everyone. Later.